Below the jagged peaks of the Castle Crag wilderness is the small railroad town of Dunsmuir. In the late 1800s, this place was once called Pusher because it often took multiple locomotives to push cargo through Dunsmuir and the steep, rugged terrain. <laughs> but these days, not all of Dunsmuir's trains need a push. Welcome to the Castleview Express. Keep your arms and legs inside at all times while the train is in motion. Welcome to the Railroad Park Resort, the perfect getaway for foamers. Yeah, I don't know if you know what a foamer is, Okay. But we get foamers now and then, and those are folks that foam in the mouth at the side of trains. <laughs> <laughs> well, if train spotting is your thing, this is the place to do it. For example, the resort's 1927 Willamette steamer gets a lot of looks, but there is just one problem. It's not currently running because I can't find the key. Oh, So okay. the key is lost, so we can't get it turned on. Lucky for me, co-owner Mark Lilly did have his keys to his electric passenger train. How many rail cars do you have? We have 27 rooms, 23 are cabooses, and one of them is a boxcar. Each one of the caboose and rail cars are fully equipped with all the amenities you'd expect at a typical hotel. Bathrooms, beds, and air conditioning, they're all standard here, but each room is a little different. And if you're lucky, you might get a room with a cupola in a view of the castle crags. And the cupola in a caboose is where the conductor would sit and check out the rest of the train because they could see all the way to the front from the back to the front. And if you're looking to celebrate a special occasion with that special train enthusiast, you may want to consider boxcar number 20. Generally our honeymoon suite. This is where uh, the romance happens. Oh, cool. <laughs> now right. and then. Mark says at one time this boxcar may have carried cattle, but now it carries a clawfoot tub, a fireplace, and a wall of mirrors. This is for the view? Uh, yeah, so you can see what's going on in the other part of the <laughs> car. Okay. okay. <laughs> Each one of the 27 rooms have their own feng shui. Mark and his wife have been remodeling the place after they bought it from the original owners in 2018. What's the basic history about this place again here? So in 1968, Bill and Delberta Murphy purchased a whole bunch of cabooses and put them on here and made them into lodging cabooses. Getting the cabooses and rail cars to this location was no easy task. Everything had to be trucked in in pieces and put into place with cranes. And the rail car resort, well, it was an engineering feat of its own. So this is actually nine rail cars all put together, uh, many deep and a couple wide. <laughs> whether you foam at the mouth at the first sight of trains or you just want to enjoy a unique lodging experience, the Railroad Park Resort has it all, including a great view. From the Railroad Park Resort in Dunsmere, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road. Hit that horn! <laughs>